I've got a question for you. Monday is Victory Day in Russia. Today, Putin's going after Mariupol, desperately trying to take it. Suppose that he, he goes a long way towards taking Mariupol, and then on the Monday, May the 9th, he declares victory. It's quite possible, and my question is, what did we do then? Yeah, it was interesting. I mean, he's a king of disinformation, so whatever he says, Russians will believe is what we're learning at this point, too. But one of the rumors that we're worried about right now is that him expressing a declaration of war on Monday. But he's been going after Mariupol for, for weeks now and hasn't uh, hasn't taken it over entirely. It. He hasn't gotten it yet. And in fact, President Zelensky has relegated him to the Donetsk and Donbass region. Uh, they've been fighting that war since 2014, but Zelensky now is better armed and better prepared uh, for what may or may not be coming on May 9th. Now, they're trying to deny it. Uh, you know, some of the, the, the spokes, spokespeople for Russia are denying that's going to happen, but you hear, you hear rumors otherwise. And I think, you know, the testing that they're doing for nuclear and diabolical weapons, you know, chemical and biological, we should all be gravely concerned what they may be capable of doing. If things were settled on the ground now, in other words, if, if uh, not peace was declared, but Putin declares victory with troops in place as they are now, he wins. Right. He runs the PR war, certainly, in Russia, but everyone's going to be shaking their heads and wondering what's next, what's going on, because he hasn't won. He's going to continue to go after... Yeah, but would we keep putting in the weapons necessary to push him back? Would we do that? Well, we just authorized $33 billion to do just that, and I don't think that's going to stop. So I do believe that we would continue supporting with defense equipment on the ground in Ukraine. As long as Zelensky and Ukrainian people are fighting, we are going to supply them with arms. But it would be very tempting for mm -hmm. the administration to turn around and say, ah, the war's silly, you know, we can settle this thing, we don't need to keep get the war going. Could say that, couldn't we? Yeah, they could. And when, you know, the Biden administration, they've been known to say one thing and do another. I mean, we've all seen it from every every uh, crisis we've had from Afghanistan to immigration to Ukraine. We've seen a lot of that flip-flopping and, and the lies that have happened and come but out of the administration. we don't want it, do we? No, we don't. We want to make sure push that... Push him out. Yeah, push him out, get them out of there. But Zelensky, he's, he's got so much courage and the Ukrainian people are fighting. But we've seen over 5 million people displaced from this. That's the most since World War II. And we've got to continue to support Ukraine. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Always appreciate it. Thanks very much.